Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. For whatever reason, I keep like acronymizing or shortening this game to be like Valcal, even though that doesn't actually make any sense. All right. We learned last time that that's the one that's new. Oh yeah, also since last time I redid my hair, or my wife did. Here's the brief for this operation. Thank you, Alicia. The enemy is a squad centered on a single tank, advancing from the plaza to the main road. We need to defend the gate. If they breach it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. Is this game gonna escalate to the point where I'm the one doing the war crimes? Because I'm okay with that. They'll probably head there and destroy it. The tank will be with them. Take out the tank and keep the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's it's impossible to destroy their tank. Until we rendezvous, the town watch will do everything we can to keep the gate in one beach. Use the sandbags as cover. Okay. All right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. You're looking a little fish-faced. I can't talk. I do that enough in my own LPs. casualties among the townspeople the town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away one moment Alicia all right sorry just making her a little louder got a second listen close and I'll explain sure thing crouch mm-hmm yeah Oh, you can destroy sandbags. That's interesting. Grenades are limited, as usual. You regenerate hand grenades. That's an insane level of power. All right, who do we got? Town watch, town watch, Alicia. I suppose there's not much reason to do that, right? Enemy unit spotted. All right. I wonder if I can get closer and grenade it. Twenty two to kill, huh? Hmm. Yeah! All right, yeah. No. I was just seeing if I could do that. <laughs> I really like the uh, the the like inking there. Again, this game's storybook uh, aesthetic is so solid. Moving out. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. So I guess I will see if I can just throw it from here. Yep, right into the road. Then again, the other guys can get killed, so maybe we should use them. I kind of wish I could overwatch a guy. Like in, uh, 
uh, like an XCOM. I don't really see that much reason to use guys besides turn, okay? Alicia. Like, do they have better stats or something? This is still a very strange but interesting gameplay loop. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get this guy in there. Oh, he does not have a grenade. Oh, you can crawl in grass. That's interesting. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, I'm all done. Thank you. That's the kind of trick that I should really have expected. Something like that is pretty basic, I would say. I really do like the uh, the looks of these. All right, main gate has taken one hit. If I die on this, I will retry, just uh, off-camera. Worry not. Though somehow I feel like the people who are in on like a playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles are probably okay with it being a little uh, slower paced. It is a JRPG take of World War II. That's a brave thing to do, sir. I imagine scouts probably have nor like smaller health. When you say, like, scout in terms of, like, an RPG, I think of, like, a rogue. Jeez. So I guess the shock trooper's like a barbarian or something. These don't necessarily have to have all, like, directly analogous, uh, like, RPG counterparts, but usually people do. That's what people like to do. All right, go time. Ragnade. Small amount is healed to start of, yeah. You need Ragnade if you need to survive health. Yet another product of Ragnade. I love that the writing is just like, yep, you want to write something off, just chalk it up as Ragnade. Healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. It's a med kit. Place them on no one to use this item to heal yourself. All right. You need that juice. God. All right. One more, everyone. All right. <clears throat> I decided to let the... Uh, I, let, I decided to have the enemy team play out. Basically, everyone is crouched in the in the bushes. And I strafed alongside to let uh, them get more stuff. I figured that it is probably good to let everyone move together. Because it means that people will... Uh, it means that people will... All be able to take shots at somebody running by. What? Oh, good. Well, I've got a beat. Is it smart to be standing next to a... Uh, tank firing shells like next to the target I know that they're a little bit away from it but yeah see this is what you want
Oh, wow. This is probably the time where you, like, you should be learning, you know? Sometimes I kind of prefer when it's just like this, but I guess it makes sense that like these are just the guys that we can't see. Nice, another one down. Oh, has one of their like points been burned? Commanding points? I refuse to call them CP, I will not do this. I don't trust that for a second. So I see a big old glowing spot here. So I'm going to try that because it does damage at least. Let's go right back in, huh? How about this? Does this do anything? Oh! So it does. I kind of want her to be able to counterattack, so I'm going to have her here. And then I'll inch these guys over. <clears throat> 40 shots to kill. Not a good sign. Okay, good. I was really hoping that you'd be able to at least do that. imagine if people just passively generated grenades in real life? A useful ability, to be sure. Then again, that would also be something where, like, I don't need to stand up. We're not all anime characters who can just shake off a grenade blast. 40 to kill. Let's see about you. Not a single one, huh? Oh, I get it. He was all the way over there. I'm going to ensconce him back in here. Oh. I want to do this. This seems kind of smart. Maybe. It could also just collapse from under me. Like, get shot out from under me. That seems like a thing that they'd want to do. But that guy also missed a shot when, like, I really needed him to kill, so... That's your fault, that one guy. That's his fault. <laughs> Though I guess it's also partially my fault, because I could have moved him before uh, he shot. somebody misses their target but they do hit somebody else I'm like that's okay I'll take it you know hell yeah I assume in his tank right or what was her name Isarda's tank yes okay let's save that let's see if we can't clear some of these guys out Three to kill, ten to kill. Damn, really? 
That's painful. The hats are very silly looking, but they are rather utilitarian, so... Entering combat. Let's bring the man himself in. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Rox. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Alicia. About tanks. Firepower and endurance far beyond the... Yeah, no kidding. Deflect all gunfire from foot soldiers. And they're, they are cover. Interesting. So like a shiv. Unlike ground units, they don't heal. They, tur they, they eat two points. Mm. A fatal story. A fatal shortage of CP. They require AP to turn. So we have tank controls. Okay. So I, I'm hoping that I can just... Enemy sighted. Hell yeah. It's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Hell yeah. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? <laughs> what a thing to say. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Yeah, he's got a point. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right. Let's go take it down. This is exciting. Attacking with a tank. Three major means. Anti-armor, mortar rounds, and machine gun. Anti-armor is armor. Mortars will... AOE. Mortars have an arc. And machine gun is these guys. He even gets... Oh, man. This guy has no idea. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, that feels good. Okay, so we can, we'll need to burn two to get those guys up and running, or we can try to get the tank in closer. Entering combat. That might be a better use of our action points. Man, they are slow though. I'm hoping that the wall can take at least one more turn. Now. Body HP and tread HP. Mm hmm. AP is cut and the tank is destroyed if we lose the armor. Okay. Safe and sensible. Makes sense. Weak point where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. I figured that much myself. <clears throat> okay. Moment of truth. I wonder how many battles there are in this game. I might have to start making these uh, episodes go to an hour long. Okay. They've got grenades. Those each do like 50 to the wall. 150. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yowza. Yes, please shoot my guys instead. Oh, good. Not that the wall's gonna come back, but. Entering combat. Okay.
You need to go. Ah, then again. I might want to save my juice. Fire! Nice. I'm just gonna park the tank here and see if I can't, like, just body block, you know? All right, I've got three. I'm gonna have Alicia run behind the tank and use it as cover. Oh, really? That's annoying. That's a lot of health. Oh, okay. So headshots do count. Useful. Okay, and now I think I'll just stance up, be ready, and then I'll burn the last two on the tank. Anti-armor, mortar, and regular gun. Fire! Much better. I like it. Now, hopefully, he'll just attack me. Because that's kind of what I need to happen here. I might have made a mistake in moving my guys up too far. No. Well, that ain't good. Sorry, everyone. All right, we're back. I'm going to try and uh, get behind that tank. Uh, this game is really good. This mission's been hard, but this is a concept that I've talked about. I don't know if this has an official name, but I refer to it as skill gating. Um, and it's where like a game is like, hey, we're going to throw you a hard thing early because otherwise you won't be able to play this game. And they do that on purpose, you know? You're a scout. You're also a scout. This is overkill, I feel. Definitely. Oh, cool. Um, but like, consider the Capra Demon in Dark Souls 1. That's really hard. And it's so close to the start. Entering combat. But the game is like, hey, listen. You gotta figure out how to play this game. You 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 have to know how. You know? And if you don't... Let's see, is that where we want to put this? Oh, we're out of mortars. That was stupid of me then. But that was also the wrong gun. Whoops. Well, I think we'll be able to last one more round. No promises. One of our guys died in a glorious suicide uh, attack. Damage minimal. Good. I'm happy to hear that damage is minimal. I also use the grenades a little more effectively. Alicia's killed like five guys this this uh, this run. Nice. Yeah, I destroyed his cover as well. 
Because otherwise it would have taken like 30 shots to kill him. Galia time. All right. This guy has been a problem, so I really want to get rid of him. Nice. Cool. So that's one of the sources of damage to the door just done now. Um, I guess she can stay here. She'll regenerate some health. Okay, we've got our mortar back. Okay. Fire! Oh, hell yeah. That's really good. I don't know if I should get closer or anything, but... And let's go right back in. So we've got anti-armor. Okay, cool. So it looks like because it's an AoE, the, the mortar hit more of the ground. It's going pretty well. This time. Damage minimal. And luckily he's focusing on us now, so he's not going to be shooting at the door. And he's got a close distance, so... This is such a cool concept. What if this has a manga? I've been trying to get back into reading manga. I've been um, so bad at it recently. Oh, there's a sneaky guy hidden somewhere back there. Here we go. I'll kill this tank. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess instead of, like, like normally in an RPG, you would have, like, some big meaty guy or a, a robot or a dude in heavy armor. And that would be your tank. But I guess in this game, because guns have existed, an yes, actual tank it. needs to nice work, be the, the thing that takes damage for you. All right. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. Oh. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Wilkins' voice is so goofy. Welks, Welks. Oh yeah, that boy. was happening. Martha had a boy. <laughs> she, she gave birth in Dad's tank. Man, this is a fucking video game. Screenshot this. Send it to somebody. Just be like, hey. Yes, and without complications, they're both perfectly <laughs> healthy. There were no complications. Just, I guess the complication is that she's in a tank. Does that count? Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. So I guess Welks is going to go back to having his own, like, stat. And this tank is probably going to be Isara's because she knows how to do it more. Cool. I wish I would put the C rank on there last, you know? Like, I wish I would, I would know my rank the last. Oh man, let's call this episode Tanks for Nothing. I should probably cut it here though. I've been having a lot of fun, but however, I've been usually trying to do 30 minute episodes. Um, it wouldn't have been so bad if I hadn't had to retry, but uh, this is a lot of fun and I highly recommend this Steam port. Um, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. Everyone have a good day. Thank you for coming. Bye.